Jody, I can't hear you. Speak slowly. It's a bad connection. Did you find her? What did he say? Did he find her? Where is he? When is he gonna know? Where the hell are they? Chuck, could you keep it down? Bob, will you eat something? You'll feel better. Eat? Who can eat? Our lady is missing and you want me to eat? Boys. Wendy, 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 Wendy. Any leads? What? Oh. I see. No. No leads? Did you hear that? No leads? Shh. Jody, Jody, when are you coming home? Oh, wonderful, tonight. Great. Did you wear a warm jacket? I'm not being a mother, you're in Alaska. It's very cold there. Besides, I'm your mother. Have you eaten? Alaska, do you hear that? Wendy's in Alaska, oh my God. Listen, if he sees out there a muck lots in a size two, would you tell him to get one? I'm sorry if I've been treating you like a kid. Don't forget to buckle your seatbelt. Bye. <laughs> food. I need food. I'm upset. I need to eat when I'm upset. Some people go to a shrink. I eat. The money I've spent on Twinkies alone could support Freud, Jung, and Joyce Brothers. You got a good healthy appetite. There's nothing wrong with that. Oh, it's easy for you to say. Men don't gain weight like women do. And if they do, they lose it faster. Men burn up twice as many calories as women doing the exact same thing. And they have less body fat. God is a man. Hi, Ma. Hey, guys. Hey, Dan. Oh, honey, he just called. You just missed him. Oh, damn. If I wouldn't have stopped for gas, I could have talked to him. Well, it's okay. He's fine, and he'll be home tonight. Oh, good. <laughs> Who are we talking about? Your brother. Jody! Boy, the power of reasoning. You know, all she said was your brother, and he knew exactly it was Jody. <laughs> I've always been able to do that. Did Jody find Wendy? No. Oh, poor guy. Hey, listen, I'd love to sit here and chat, but we got a bowling turn on that. Get the balls, Chuck. Bob, you're not playing. You always throw gutter balls. I can't help it. I can't help it. I look down that alley, I see those tins, and I think I'm about to knock off my entire family. <laughs> well, you're not playing. That's it. Okay, fine, fine. I'll just sit at the bar with that waitress friend of yours until she gets off work. Michelle? Yeah. The girl that can carry two trays without her hands. <laughs> Maybe you can play the first game. I knew you'd see it my way. Uh, Ma, I, uh, I hate to have to tell you this. I, I, I know it's not a good time. Danny, I'm used to it. It's never a good time to tell me anything anymore. So go ahead, tell me. Well, it, it, it's not bad news, Ma. In fact, it, it's really good news. What? I'm in love. Oh, Danny, that is wonderful. I am happy for you. <laughs> She's a wonderful girl, Ma. Oh, tell me all about her. What's she like? She's Caucasian, 5'5", five, five, about 110 pounds, no distinguishing marks. <laughs> Sounds lovely. <laughs> Who is she? Her name is Gwen. She's a local girl. What does she do? Well, she sort of works... Um, Undercover. Oh, she's a policewoman. Hooker. Ma. Ma, it's... Ma, it's not what you think. Gwen only did it for the money. And now she doesn't do it for anything. She promised me. Danny, you are not in love. I am. You are not. You just got over Polly. You were very lonely, so you went to a prostitute and you... You know. Please, do not confuse that with love. But, Ma, I didn't, you know. She's not that kind of girl. You mean you're in love with a hooker that you haven't even... hooked? You'll love Gwen. Everybody does. That's the problem. Look, Ma... I know sometimes I don't always make the best choices, but I keep trying, and she makes me happy. 
I know. <laughs> if you love her, she's probably very nice. Thanks, Ma. Oh, there is one small thing I guess I should tell you. What? Well, somebody may be trying to kill her. <laughs> Ten minutes tops. This will all be gone. But it's okay, Ma. See, I have her in protective custody. Mm -hmm. This poor thing, though, she's, she's really going stir-crazy. She needs to be around other people. Well, if somebody were trying to kill me, I'd probably feel the same way. So it's okay? What? What's that? My beeper. My beeper's beeping. I gotta go, Ma. Bye. Daddy, I, we have not finished this conversation. I gotta go, Ma. I'm being beeped. I've never been beeped before. Bert is beeping my beeper. Bert bought these beepers. They're the best beepers that bucks can buy. I mean, when they beep, they beep. They weren't cheap beepers either. I believe this must be bigger. Bert would never have beeped. I better beat it. Oh, Ma, thanks. For what? For saying it's okay for Gwen to live with us. <gasps> Danny, Danny! <gasps> My gay son is in Alaska. My straight son is in love with a hooker. My stepson is bowling with a puppet. protect my skin. From what? From life. I read this article, Mary, once that said if you always keep your skin covered, it'll stay like a baby's tush. I'm trying to invent something now to cover my face without looking like the elephant man. Here, Mary, have some. What are they? Croissant? These are croissant? Yes, I made them myself. <laughs> Jess, croissant. Are crescent-shaped. Mary, please, I was lucky to get them off my gloves. <laughs> now, Mary, we are going to have a little toast. Mm. What's the occasion? Well, I am officially divorced. Oh, Jess, congratulations. <gasps> that is what one says, isn't it? <laughs> to the lawyers, they're the ones that cleaned up. Oh, Mary, it is unbelievable. Two men sat down for a few hours, shuffled some papers together, and walked away with a fortune. Chester and I paid for his lawyer's condo in Aspen and my lawyer's condo in Maui. They're very happy. They're going to trade once a year. I would love to sue them, only it would mean hiring another lawyer. How does it feel to be divorced? Exactly like it feels to be married, only you don't have a husband. <laughs> Mary... There's something that I've just got to talk to you about. Mary, L won't. Won't what? No. <laughs> he won't? Not unless we're married. When I was 20, that's what I said to Johnny. <laughs> what did he do? He married me. <laughs> oh. Well, that seems a little drastic for one night of fun. <laughs> one night of fun, please. Sometimes you're lucky you even know what happens. I mean, I don't see how that's quite possible. Unless, of course, you were awfully caught up in a movie or something. <laughs> Once I did actually watch Dr. Zhivago during... <laughs> oh, I love that film. But every time I watch it, I keep hoping that it will end better. <laughs> I have something to tell you, Jess. See, I keep hoping that she's going to see him from the streetcar and get to him before he dies. Danny's in love with a hooker. But it never happens. <laughs> Jess, she's a hooker. No, Mary. Rod Steiger forced her. <laughs> she only loves Chivago. 
<laughs> no, just not her. Gwen. Gwen? Who's that, Geraldine Chaplin? No, Danny's girlfriend. Danny? That's not a Russian name, Danny. <laughs> My Danny. Our Danny. Oh, your Danny. Your Danny. <laughs> I, I thought... <gasps> oh, I got confused. Right, now. Your Danny is in love with a Russian hooker. <laughs> no, just a hooker. Mary, I have an idea. Do you suppose that Danny's hooker might give me some tips? <laughs> On what? Oh, you know, little ways to interest Elle. <laughs> what kind of tips? Oh, Mary, I bet she knows a lot of things. I'd love to talk to her. Mary, invite her over. Go on. I'll give her some croissants. She's probably never had them before. Just take my advice. Don't ask. Well, I suppose you're right. I guess it's kind of like the Orange Julius secret sauce. They'll never tell you what's in that either. <laughs> it's not so bad when you think about it. Corinne was married to a priest who became a hermit. Eunice is married to a murderer. You were married to a murderer. Now you're with a dictator in exile. I'm married to a sheriff who was photographed with six nude women. Who am I to judge? <laughs> From what I can see, Danny would be marrying up. 